Can you see it? Yes. You got it? Yes. In the native forests near Coffs Harbour, koalas are increasingly hard to spot and conservationists are worried. Koalas have declined by 50% in the last 15 to 20 years. But logging here is set to intensify and conservationists are calling for an end to hardwood logging which has been here for a century. The very area that they want to get in and absolutely hammer is the very area that is the highest koala habitat quality. This map obtained by the ABC shows the areas marked for extensive logging under upcoming forestry operations and the latest government data maps out the extent of high quality koala habitat that surrounds Coffs Harbour. When combined, the significant overlap between prime koala habitat and logging activity becomes obvious. Not everyone agrees that prime koala habitat should be off limits to logging. The New South Wales Forestry Corporation says there's a thriving timber industry here and it's adamant that koala populations can survive and coexist alongside logging. Look, our data indicates that the, out here in the bush the koalas are doing quite well. That's certainly not the picture that we get um, and again we have now long-term data sets going back 30, 40, 50 years. Steve Phillips is an independent expert who sits on the government's scientific panel and he worries that koala numbers are suffering as a result of the over-exploitation of state forests. They've been harvested to within an inch of their ecological lives and it's just got to stop. One proposal gathering support is a great koala national park taking in many of the state forests in the Coffs Harbour hinterland. The minister says it's a political gimmick. There is, of course, uh, that balance that has to be struck uh, between jobs and preserving our environment. Forestry says new acoustic monitoring of mating calls in 100 sites showed koalas were present 80% of the time. Well, it's early days in our research, but um, our results are suggesting that koalas are persisting um, after logging. This is a koala preferred feed tree. So and there's this still is... signs of life here, with at least one koala hanging on in the regrowth zone. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News.